What is up, everybody? Friday night, UFC is back. Literally, nobody is ripping this stuff. 22 select UFC hobby. Full case break. We will get started here in about four or five minutes. Again, thanks everybody for joining. EH, what's going on? Hash, what's up? UFC nasty, what's going on? Everybody piling in here. Should have, I think there was like 65. Oh, EH, baseball Wednesday or Thursday? Wednesday or Thursday, maybe both. Maybe both, bud. We got like 65 different people who bought different fighters in this break. What's up, Brady? What's going on, baby? Uh, we got uh, we got like 60 plus that might be in the live here. Again, if you're new, appreciate you joining the break. Any questions, please throw them down in the comments. I don't know who you got. Um, your eBay names are usually different than your Instagram names, so... You want to let me know in the chat who you're rooting for, please do. Um, we try to keep the chat fun for everybody. Um, again, there's about a 15-second lag here, so if you got anything that you need me to address, I'm not going to see it for about 15 seconds once you throw your question down in the chat. Happy to respond to any and all questions and comments as soon as I see them. Alex, you got Mackenzie Dern. It's a rough loss she's coming off of in the last fight, but uh, tons of upside there. Uh, I'm one of the only guys that rips this stuff that actually knows about the fighters, so that's uh, I love this product. It's the product of the year, if you ask me. I've been telling everybody to grab it and hold it. The Patty 101s are all still live in this product, which is why I think you're seeing the wax go through the roof on it. Oh, you know I'm ready. I am ready. Uh, you got Islam, okay. Um, but yeah, we'll get started here in about, I don't know, two, three minutes. I'm going to let more people get in the live. Um, these will probably ship out first thing Monday morning. There's no chance I'm getting to the post office with a 160 different uh, guys sorted and shipped by noon tomorrow. Usually I try to get stuff out the next day, but there's no chance given the time of this break. So they'll go out Monday morning. They'll ship safely and securely as they always do from us. And uh, yeah, I do have another case of this, but I was originally planning on breaking it Sunday night, and now I'm going to the Guardians playoff game Sunday night, so that break is not going to run Sunday night. We'll see if we end up running that again. Um, they did just announce that Donruss Optic UFC is coming out on November 16th. They're going to have downtowns. I can't wait for that. Um, I've already pre-ordered multiple cases of that, so if you want to save me as a seller on eBay, we will be breaking that like crazy <laughs> Brady yours will be out by noon tomorrow no they won't um but they're gonna have uh skunked on a case for Shavkat <laughs> good luck but yeah they do have uh optic optic is actually coming out as a standalone product I cannot wait so uh keep your eyes keep your eyes out for that and uh, save me as a seller on eBay. We'll have, I don't know, I want to say five or six cases of that to rip through on release week. Uh, two more minutes, we'll get started here in the live. I think there's like 21, 22 here hanging out. So I'm going to give it a few more minutes and then we'll get rolling. In the meantime, let's pop this fresh case, get these ready to roll. I absolutely love this product. This, I think, is my seventh case ripping. I've hit a big card. I've hit multiple patty, huge cards. I've hit a gold octagon side patty. Hit tie dye patties. I've hit tie dye Umars. I've hit a big card of just about everybody you could hit except for Conor McGregor. So we will see if we can break the Conor curse tonight. The patty 101s are still alive. It looks like the Shavkat. Octagon side 101 is still live. There's a lot. There's a lot of big cards still live in this product, so I think that's why you're seeing the wax go through the roof. There's your empty case. You going to the game too, Marmar? Yeah, I'm gonna go up to the game. Tickets aren't bad. I actually had a buddy reach out to me with an extra ticket right after they won today. I said, "Yep, I'm in." I am in. You look today, the list wasn't out. Let me see what I missed. The Guardian. The 
Guardians call Judge Daddy. The Guardians have struck out Aaron Judge seven out of his eight at-bats in the series. Three-hour drive for you. Good luck, everybody. You were at the game today. That's awesome. That's awesome. Are you a Yankees fan or a Guardians fan? I'm a Guardians fan here, so I will be... uh, I will be hoping they can close it out at home because I think if it goes back to the Bronx, I think the Yankees win relatively easily in a game five, but we shall see. We shall see. If Tristan McKenzie pitches well tomorrow, all the pressure is going to be on New York on Sunday. All the pressure on New York if the if the uh, guards win tomorrow. <laughs> or not. Or not. There was seven of them. How can we not talk about them? He had a fantastic season, but... They actually said he's, uh, I don't know if you heard during the broadcast, he had, uh, he's had he got four four games where he's struck out four times in the playoffs, and all of them have been against the Guardians or the Indians. Uh, so it's definitely an interesting stat. All right, guys, we are 11.34. Let's get going here just so that we don't keep everybody up till 2 a.m. 12 boxes. Cannot wait. Good luck, everybody. Good luck, good luck, good luck. You're an hour from the Bronx. Nice. I love New York. I love being in New York. It's the best city on earth, if you ask me. But I'm not a Yankees fan, unfortunately. It's a nasty lineup to try to navigate as a pitcher. All righty. Let's see how many crazy hits we can pull out of this case. We've seen some crazy select cases over here this year. Here we go. Lee, Sean Brady, Piava, Movzar Evloev, and a Michael Chiesa refractor. Start us off with a nice boring pack. Rosenstrike, Menafield, Sean Strickland. I have a tricolor. First auto is in here. Chael Sonnen tie. In the back we got a purple. <laughs> Rookie. Nice for the Tom Aspinall spot. Nice true purple. Very, very nice. Let's grab a let's grab a chail here to flip this around. Blue. Our first auto is gonna be a blue to 49 of Amanda Hebos. There's an Amanda Hebos auto in every single case of this product. Whether it's a blue or a normal base. 36 out of 49. Hebos. This is a really nice Tom Aspinall. His stuff is tanked with the injury. Still a fighter with a ton of upside. One of the more athletic guys I've ever seen fight in that division. 57 out of 60. That's a nice start. Real nice start for the Tom Aspinall spot. Take it. It's a nice pack right there. What's the difference with you? <laughs> Rose, Brock, Nganu. I read today they're trying to make Nganu John Jones. There's a Sean Strickland Silver. They're trying to make Nganu John Jones in December. If not that, they're trying to make it Stipe John Jones in December. If not, they're going to push it back. Try to do Young Gary Thugrose and Patty the Batty about face. Yeah, you got some good names. I saw that. Good luck to you. TJ and Dan Henderson. Young Gary's a monster. He's the most underrated. Underrated of all the rookies in this product, if you ask me. Octagon side, Nina Nunes, and a scope, Marlon Marais. Marlon Marais has really been on a, on a rough streak ever since he knocked out Aljamain Sterling. That was one of the worst knockouts I've ever seen. Who do I have winning, Islam or Charles? I honestly have no idea. Um... 
I think Charles is I think Charles has been very fortunate to get out of his last couple fights where he's been he's been he's been scared. Um <laughs> he's been scared pretty badly and almost knocked almost finished in his last few and then come back to win. I, I think you're gonna I think you're gonna tempt fate by doing that too many times in a row. Um the Vegas odds to me just suggest you're crazy to think Islam's gonna lose. BJ Penn. BJ Penn out of one twenty five. I think Islam wins. I don't know. But again, Charles has got crazy jujitsu off his back, so I, I don't know. <laughs> really, I don't know. It's one of the more intriguing fights I've ever, I'll ever get the pleasure to watch. So uh, nothing would surprise me in that fight. Casey O'Neill Silver. I think the most curious thing on the card is that uh, there should be a relic in here. The most curious thing on the card is that if anybody uh, misses weight or can't fight or anything happens with COVID or whatever, that uh, O'Malley is the He's the guy, he's the replacement for both the co-main and the main, which is crazy. Nina Nunez, bronze on the back here. Can't get away from Nina Nunez in this product. Bronze, 48 out of 175. And our relic is a Max Holloway. Yeah, I don't know. I saw I saw some videos of him like walking a lion <laughs> around this week, which is yeah, pretty badass if you ask me. I don't know. I don't, I wouldn't be very comfortable walking a lion around, but you know, I also wouldn't be very comfortable getting in an octagon. So, I guess we're a little different in both regards. This is weird. The the hit is on the back rather than in the four spot here. D-Rod Nganu Sirogan and our blue is Henry Cejudo, Triple H. Triple C or whatever he calls himself. 10 out of 199, Henry Cejudo. He's coming back to fight soon, too. All right, should have one more auto coming in a pretty boring box number one so far. Auto is right here. Hamza. Patty, tricolor, and another blue auto. Sugar, Rashad Evans. Two blues, okay. <laughs> I like that, Hashlam. I like that. All right, two blue autos out of the first box. We'll take that. No base, 29 out of 49, Rashad Evans. And a nice patty concourse tricolor. <laughs> that was good, Hash. I enjoyed that. All right, last pack. I think we've hit all our numbered stuff out of this box. And again, the hit on the back. That's really weird. Holly Holm. Still one of the best fights I ever saw when she knocked out Ronda Rousey. Very, very odd to watch that happen live. <laughs> That's awesome. And that is why the chat is always great during UFC and WWE breaks. Always, folks, with lots of personality. Keeps me entertained. I don't have to do the entertaining that way. You bet Holly that night? How big of a dog was she? She had to be plus 1,200, something like that. Might have been more. All the hits on the back. This is so weird. Habib. Actually, I'm thinking WWE. Hits are always on the back here. That's right. Losing my mind. Autos are... Another light blue here, Umar, Nate Diaz, Yuri. <laughs> Hosh, there's the Sean Brady light blue. Sean Brady light blue. First one for you, Brady. Sean Brady for Brady. 91 out of 199, light blue. Throw the rookies over here. Bring some other... Uh, 
bring the other pedestals out as we start to get some gold and tie-dye action going. Ooh, there's our case hit silver octagon side early. All right, good luck on that. Casey O'Neill, Gamrot. It's a rookie. Be a big one. It's not Patty. It is Armin Saruki, and that's a monster hit for the Armin spot. I ripped seven cases and not even pulled the base of this card yet. That's a huge card. Huge card. He's so tough to hit. Congrats to the Armin Sarukian spot. Congrats. That's an awesome hit. Man, I haven't even hit the base of that yet. That's awesome. Nice hit. Looked pretty clean, too, at first glance. Teflon Juan, is that you? Let's go, boy. That's a nice hit. That's a good start to the case. Love to see that. Let's go now. Let's start to see some damn gold, huh? Relic in here. Ooh, is that gold? Yeah, that's gold on the back. I want to say that's a Relic Auto here. First gold, y'all. Look at Armin. Lighten us up. Let's go now. All right, our gold. Be a rookie. Come on. Our gold is not a rookie. Good luck. It is... Kane Velasquez. That's actually kind of a sneaky nice hit. Nice Kane gold. We'll take that. Congrats to the Kane spot. You got in real cheap. That's a really, 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 really nice hit. Kane gold. 9 out of 10. It's going to be a good case. I can feel it now. Yeah, give me a second. <clears throat> give me a second. We'll get you a screenshot. We still got a relic here. Here you go. That should, that should be good. I think my my fat head is in the background, so you can see my head there. Apologize for that. Let's see. I'm not sure if this is an auto or not. I don't think it is, but... Nope. Damian Maya. Damian Maya. God, you remember Damian Maya fighting Anderson Silva? Might have been the worst fight of all time. Just trying to pull guard the whole time. About face, that's you? All right. Good. Brandon Moreno and new and a Leron Murphy scope. All right. First gold off the board. We got a real nice silver case hit. I like where we're heading here. Bronze on the back. Ilya, Irene Aldana. Rookie. Biamalecki. The premier level rookies are the tough ones. There's a bunch of good ones, but they left out a bunch of them. So that's the one. 158 out of 175. That's the one. When you see the rookie logo, you got a chance of it being a pretty tough one. That's where they threw all the rough rookies is in the premier level. Auto incoming, it's going to be one of the ringside action, or octagon side action. Piotr Jan, here we go. Base auto, Neil Magny, base auto. Figured we were probably due for a base auto after two blues and then gold already in here. Neil Magny, base auto. Going to have some... Gonna have some boring autos over the course of a case. That's the first one of them. Could be worse, but it's not a huge one. Pantoja. Oh, that's a gold too. Is that seriously two golds in the same box? <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. Gold insert. Good luck. Two golds in the same box. From the back, Holly Holm. Silver, good luck on this one. Who is that? Alexander Rockich, Phenomenon Gold. Damn. Five out of ten. 
I've seen some of the boxes with golds have three. So let's go ahead and get a third. Rockets gold, five out of ten. All right. It's two golds out of this box. Let's see another one. Let's see a gold auto, too. Some of these cases, too, when you get rolling on golds, I've seen some nuts cases of this stuff. This is going to be a good case. I agree with you, Vito. I agree. I've opened a lot of this stuff. I've opened a lot of it off cam, too. And I actually opened one case that had two zebras in it. Two zebras and two 101s. One 101 auto and one just base 101. So I've seen some crazy stuff come out of these cases. Hopefully this is a nuts case. This is going to be auto number two. Yes, it is. That looks like the rookie. That looks like a rookie. All right, we got a rookie auto, I believe, and then our blue is Bilal, remember the name, Muhammad. <laughs> Bilal is 113 out of 199, and then we got a tie-dye rookie auto on the back. What a box. Tie-dye rookie auto, good luck. How we doing, Tom Aspinall spot? Just absolutely slaying the first two boxes. Wow. Wow. Tom Aspinall tie-dye rookie auto. <laughs> Let's go. 23 out of 25. Wow. It's filthy. Sorry, Amanda. We're going to have to ask you to move over here. The other blue autos for now. That's pretty good for two boxes. In. <laughs> Jesus. Let's go. Tom Aspinall spot. That spot used to go for, when this product first came out, that spot used to go for like 150 bucks. 113 out of 199, Bilal Muhammad. What a hit that was. Tie dye Tom Aspinall auto. And he got the auto on the sticker too. Habib. Piotr, it's been a pretty good box. This is the kind of box you dream of grabbing at the LCS and coming home. Two golds and a tie-dye Aspinall auto. And it's Saruki and Jesus. Yeah, the Armin was in here too. Two golds, a case hit, and a tie-dye rookie auto. Connor, Glover, Scope, Curtis Blades. I can't believe that box. Two golds, a case hit, and a Tommy tie-dye. All right. Let's see just a just absolutely crazy case. Let's just see Gold City in here. I don't think you're going to offend anybody in here. Hopefully not. I'm pretty tough to offend. I actually had to throw somebody out of one of my breaks the other night that wasn't even in the break that was just in trying to make people mad i usually don't even do that i usually let people be themselves but someone's just being flat out annoying so but i usually don't do that very difficult to offend islam two boxes in has not has not shown up yet hash but fortunately you got 10 more boxes to uh to potentially see him show up paul craig Steven Wonderboy Thompson. Get out of here, sleeve. Dank of Boston, welcome. Again, if you join late, we'll do a full recap at the end. All the hits. What is that? Ugh, is that Panini points? Jesus. Volkanovsky, Rich Franklin, 900 Panini points. Ridiculous. And our neon green is Aljamain Sterling. Aljamain Sterling neon green. Yeah, those are gone. For sure. For sure. 37 out of 49. Enjoy those. Whoever grabbed those. Didn't even remember that Panini points were an option. I can be completely honest and tell you I've never pulled one out of six plus cases. I've never pulled Panini points out of this product. So that's crazy. I've never seen one. 
Never seen one otherwise. Never seen them. No, I'll ra- I'll random it off at the end. Um, and whoever gets it, but if anyone steals it, sorry, guys. I, that's my fault. That is my fault. I didn't even know. Honestly, I didn't even process that <laughs> the Panini points would have would have even been a possibility. I've opened six cases of this and never hit it once. Paul Craig, silver rookie. But these, uh, we will random those off the end. We'll ship them if somebody stole the code. Sorry, that's my bad. Now I know if we see that, uh, we see the Panini points sitting in there. Leon Edwards. I don't sell the Panini point spot. I think, feel like it's just asking somebody to waste money. So I always just random them off at the end. Yeah, you're only going to... Uh... The last time I did that, it didn't get stolen. So who knows? Juliana Pena Blue out of 199 But it'll ship to whoever it gets random to. Hopefully... There's Dreykus, Anderson Silva, Askarov, and Ryan Span Silver. First Shavkat, Concourse, Fiziv, Aspinall. Those three always run together. Umar Tricolor. Kid named Trevor, what's going on? All right, well, we got Panini points for our first auto, I I presume, out of this box. So hopefully the second auto is something big. Patty, Gamrot, Habib, insert silver. All right, still waiting on an auto. Something exciting out of this box. Second box was great. First box was pretty boring. We got a white prism on the back. The whites are super, super cool looking, I think. White rookie. Paul Craig. Nice hit for the Paul Craig spot. Nice hit for the Paul Craig spot. If you like watching guys pull guard inexplicably in a fight over and over and over again. 67 out of 75, Paul Craig. Then Paul Craig is definitely your guy. It's one of the weirder fights I've ever seen. All right. Zebra. Early on, Zebra. Zebra, premier level. So we got a Zebra in here and a red. Good luck on both. Let's go with the red first. The red is Marcin Tabora. Vitos, it seems like you know what you're talking about. And the zebra is a rookie. Let's see the weight. It's a rookie light heavyweight. Kennedy Njikwu. Nice hit. Love seeing a rookie zebra come out of there too. Nice. Rookies are hitting. Rookies are definitely hitting. Three boxes in. We got tie dyes, gold, zebras everywhere. (laughs) He's actually a pretty tough fighter. 41 out of 99. All right, we got a long way to go. Hang in. Is that yours? A T A S H. Brock Lesnar, Rocky, Sean Strickland, Silver on the back. And Valentina Shevchenko. Congrats. It's a nice zebra right there. Nice Valentina relic. Nice Sean Strickland Silver. Can't believe he got knocked out in his last fight. Kid was on an absolute tear. 
We're still waiting on an auto, right? Still waiting on an auto here? Uh, <laughs> Ash, I, did, I was not expecting to see that. Islam, first Islam sighting. Jan Blahovich and Volkanovsky. This should have an auto in it. I'm going to be really annoyed if it doesn't. We got 900 points. Am I crazy? Did we miss an auto? No, there should be an auto in here. All right, we got an auto. Oliveira, Carol Hossa, Tiago Moises on the back, and a base auto. 900 points in a base auto. And that is Dominic Cruz, the Dominator. We'll take a Dominic Cruz auto. Big fan of his. Did not enjoy watching him get his nose shattered in his last fight on the way. Hopefully to retirement. Kind of keep these guys out of their own way. But one of the greatest to ever do it. I would actually say on Dominic Cruz, in my opinion, one of the least talented fighters. Who just worked as hard as you could imagine working. And found a way to... Found a way to be relevant. Just stick and move. Don't get hit. Yeah, he's awesome. He is absolutely awesome. Loved watching him fight. Just never was the most athletic guy in the world. Just, I just, I don't know. Something about that dude. <laughs> was he really? That's awesome. That's awesome, Vito. All right, box four. First three boxes, pretty good. Pretty good. Your house must be lovely. Billy Q, Cynthia Calvillo, Robert Whitaker, Vulcan, and a Pantoja. This kid's actually a really talented fighter. Pantoja. If he could last all three rounds, pretty, pretty awesome fighter. Hash is entertaining in the chat, that's for sure. First, Jan Gary, base. All right, we got a red on the back. Kai Kara, France. Lee, and the red is a non-rookie of Johnny Bones. You got Cheeto. Yeah, the Cheeto, the kick. I mean, you actually could see his nose shatter in real time. 18 out of 99, Johnny Bones. Cheeto's really had a heck of a run, man. He clowned Rob Font, crushed Dominic Cruz. I mean, obviously he beat uh, what Sugar Sean a while back. Uh, that's a bronze on the back. Bronze premier level. Romanov. Non-rookie bronze of Piotr Jan. I don't know how that's pronounced, Piotr, but it is. 153 out of 175. All right, we got our relic in here. Yep. Hamza Bilal Muhammad. In the back is a Tiago Santos. And the relic is Tyron Woodley. You'd think by this point I could pull the relic the right way so that we didn't see the name first, but haven't quite figured that one out yet. Maybe next time. Usually pretty good at the slow roll too, but not tonight. Look at Hash Llama throwing a llama emoji down in the chat. You can't throw it. You can't throw a llama in there. Nate Diaz, Joel Alvarez, Rose, and Dominic Reyes. Remember how up and coming Dominic Reyes was? After he, a lot of people thought he beat John Jones in that fight. Now he's completely irrelevant in the division. All right, got a light blue on the back. Red and light blue always seem to fall together. Yair Rodriguez, rookie. Julia Avila. A lot of people thought he did win that fight. I don't. I didn't say I was one of them. One hundred seven out of one ninety nine. Julia Avila. A lot of people thought he won that fight. He was up and coming for a while. Now, let's see on like a four fight losing streak. Auto, 
Jared Kenny, Dan the Hangman Hooker, GSP, Rashad Evans. And our auto is a red. Red. Is that Joe Lozon? Of course it is. J-Lo. Love Rich Franklin. That's my all-time favorite fighter. Gilly, yeah, it's a uh, Tom Aspinall tie-dye auto. You got Tom Aspinall? J-Lo is 39 out of 99. That's the Tom Aspinall, Gilly. Came out of box two. We got this box and then eight more to go. Working on it, Brady. Yeah, Gilly, you got a purple out of the first box too. The Tom Aspinall spot is definitely winning the break so far. Rashad Evans, silver. I think we had a tricolor out of the last pack. Should have one more auto coming here. Brandon Moreno, Casey O'Neill, Big Nog. Auto. On the back is a white prism, and then we got an auto here, too. Oh, wow. This is funny, guys. Two autos here. They gave us a double auto pack. Animal prints out of a case. Usually it's one UFC nasty. Let's look at the white prism first. But we got two autos here, which is wild. They put two together. It's a rookie white of Rogerio Bontarine, and then we got two autos back to back. One is a red, and the other is a red. I wonder if it's gonna be the same exact person. That'll be interesting. So we got double autos here. Here we go. First auto is a non-rookie of Kamaru Usman. That's a huge auto, actually. <laughs> Had he not been head kicked in the face, that's actually a monster card. Give us two Kamara Usmans back-to-back. -back. No way, right? It's not. Holy shit. Look at those two. How's that box? <laughs> Sugar Sean O'Malley, red, and a Kamara Usman. I mean, are you kidding me? Points didn't mess up the case, Marmar. This case is loaded. Two autos in one pack. Three autos in this box. Sugar Sean O'Malley... Shooting the, shooting the old fadeaway. Fifty out of ninety-nine, Sugar Sean. I'm like, I don't have enough. I gotta get more of these rips, rips, little holders here. Jesus, more only four boxes in. Good lord, this Usman's still a monster card. I don't care. He's not. He could fight Leon Edwards ninety-nine times, and he'd get head kicked one out of a hundred times. Still the most, one of the most dominant fighters I've ever seen. All right, let's throw these little ones over here. Sheesh. Two golds, a tie-dye rookie auto, two monster reds. Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good, Brady. Pretty good so far. And without, like, a real monster, monster card, too. So we got the rest of the case to build up to that monster card. That would have been funny if it was Leon right there. Now we got to start rooting for some true greens and one of ones. I have open cases with multiple one of ones, so we got a long way to go here. Long way to go. Vicente Luque still can't believe he got knocked out by Jeff Neal. I don't think this is gonna have a numbered card in it. No. Nope. All right. Well, that was a pretty good box either way. Carla Esparza. Nate Diaz, silver. It has been a nice spread, hash, except for you. So far, but we got a long way to go. All right, four boxes in. 
Again, thanks, y'all. It's been a fun chat so far. Fun rip so far. Two blue autos, two red autos, a tie-dye auto, two golds, a zebra, and a case hit. Armin Sarukian through four boxes is pretty good. Appreciate that, Hash. Thank you, Brady. Too kind. All right, box. I'm not great at math. Five. Box five. Now let's see if we can't catch a 101, huh? That's the next goal. Dawkus, Marlon Cheeto Vera, Adrian Yanez, and Wonder Boy. Still haven't hit that big Connor card. I'm waiting on a big Connor. I've opened multiple cases of Chronicles, too. I just never hit a big Connor card before. Got an auto in this pack. Maybe two autos? Are they going to do that to us again? No, we got a maroon on the back. Maroon is a... Really? It is a rookie. It's Dustin Jacoby. And our auto... It's just a base auto. Who is that? Giga Chikadze. It could be worse, actually. Pretty good fighter. Giga... Base, Octagon, Action, Signatures, Auto. Dustin Jacoby is one of the premier level. I told you the premier level is always your Connor Lime Green sold for five fifty, or your True Green to five. Whoever bought your Lime Green to one twenty five or whatever the Lime Greens are to, if somebody bought that for five fifty. They're having some buyer's remorse, I would imagine. But who am I to tell people what to buy? Chael Sonnen, Islam, Anderson Silva, Insert Silver, and Juliana Pena. Ah, PSA 10. Gotcha. Dustin Poirier. I'll tell you what fight I'm really not looking forward to. Personally, is Dustin Poirier. There's a Johnny Jones scope. I am not looking forward to Dustin Poirier, Michael Chandler, because I love both fighters. They seem like the two nicest dudes in the world. Good family men. Just good human beings. Love watching them both fight. I feel like I'm not going to enjoy watching one of them get knocked out by the other. Rookie scope, Steven Peterson. I haven't seen any Michael Chandler yet. He'll show up. I've hit a bunch of his autos out of this product. They're just good dudes. Just good dudes. They do a lot for charity. Spend a lot of time at home. You never hear anything bad about either one of them. Oh my gosh, nobody changes their oil every 3,000 miles. 7,000 is the new 3,000, right? Isn't that... <laughs> hey, every so often it's refreshing to uh, to root for somebody that's not an awful human being. Those two dudes are good dudes. Someone's getting knocked out in that fight too, brutally. And I don't even know. I don't know which one's better for me. Bronze on the back. Are they still called, are they still called smart cars? Rookie. Who is that, Romanov? Nice hit for the Romanov spot. Nice Romanov, bronze. This rookie class is so loaded. 164 out of 175, Romanov. You think Chandler's getting KO'd? I don't know. I don't know. Dustin's been in so many wars, I just don't know. Royval. Cain Velasquez, Cyril Gaon, Silver. Relic should be in here. No Relic Autos yet. 
Maybe we're due for one of those. Doesn't appear that this will be one. There's a Patty Usman Silver. Did it again. Holly Holm, Relic. Some of the nicest pills. <laughs> This is a good back and forth, actually. I'm enjoying this chat right now. I don't really know, Teflon. I really don't. I would have thought the, the Relic Autos would have been really good in this and in WWE, but they don't hold the value. I had an O'Malley that sold for like 80 bucks, And I thought when I pulled it, it was going to be a nice card. White Prism of Kamara Usman. The Kamara Usman spot is just rolling right now. Rolling. 57 out of 75, Kamara. God, I love this product. I can't believe the double auto box. All right, hopefully we don't get... Oh, we got an auto in here. Hopefully they don't kill us on one of these other boxes. They gave us Panini points, which is annoying. Brock Lesnar, tricolor. Ah, another tie-dye auto. Good luck. Good luck, tie-dye auto. Who is that? Is that Lesnar? Is that Lesnar based on where the hands are? Am I crazy? It's not Lesnar. It's Marlon Cheeto Vera. Bang. Damn. Let's go. This case has been awesome so far. Marlon Cheeto Vera, 24 out of 25. Man. That's awesome. Let's do, we're gonna have to take the case hit off of here. Let's do this. Just cause these two are destined to fight each other again at some point. Here we go Vito's cards. You were asking for Marlon Vera. There he is. Not even halfway through the case yet. Look at all this, look at all these hits. What a case. Alex, when I buy into breaks, which is very frequently, I find myself in this situation a lot. That You're saying the same thing. Incredible case, but I always have the wrong people. That's part of the, part of the allure of buying into a break is when you're not on that side of it and you just keep hitting because it does happen every once in a while. One of the best breaks I ever bought in, I bought a, I bought in football, I bought a immaculate, I bought a Packers spot for like 25 bucks and hit an Aaron Rodgers on card auto. It's like a thousand dollar card for 25 bucks. It does happen. It's just not as frequent as you would like it to, but half the fun is the hanging out, watching the cards get ripped, listening to hash in the chat. Exactly. That's exactly right. All right. After this one, we'll, ha we'll officially be halfway through the case. We've hit Quite a lot of spots have hit so far. Quite a lot of spots have hit big so far. Now it's time to start paying off some other spots. Here's a true orange on the back. Those are like one per case. <laughs> Armin Sarukian. I've never hit the base card. Now I've hit the base card and the... And the silver. Uh, this is a welterweight. This is Matt Hughes. That's not necessarily the one we were looking for, but it's a nice orange out of what, 35, if I remember right? Yeah, 15 out of 35, Matty Hughes. Armin Sarukian, two times. Auto in common. Paul Craig, Aljamain Sterling, Stephen Pearson. On the back is Ty Tuivasa. And a red auto of Jair Rosenstrike. Octagon Action Signatures, 60 out of 99, Jair. 
Ah, I didn't even catch it the first time. Now I caught it. Yeah, he did. Is he doing okay now? I remember when that story came out where he did get hit by a train. Is he doing all right? We need some more gold, by the way. Two golds in the same box and no other gold in the first six. I always hate when you see those. I'm a, I'm a fanner outer of packs. I always like people to see what's coming. And it always teases you into thinking there's something crazy, a one of one and then it's just an insert. Tracy Cortez, he's good. Good. Volkanovsky Silver. How could anyone be doing? Well, that's a really good question that you just asked. Dawkins is nasty, man. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Matt Danger Schnell. I know a lot of these nicknames, sadly. Nate Diaz Silver. What's everyone's favorite nickname in UFC history? That's always a good question. I always like to ask that one. If you were a fighter, what would your nickname be? I don't, think, I don't like Danger. Islam, Neil Magny, Drykus, Kennedy again, and a Grant Dawson tricolor. Grant Dawson. First Grant Dawson card I've seen, I think. Shavkat. Base. Faziv, Holly Holm, Tracy Cortez, Phenomenon Silver. And a Vivian Araujo scope. You can actually get in trouble for what you write on Instagram? Really? Like just for comments? Or does someone have to like report you? I'm such a dinosaur. I'm about to turn 40 in the fall. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't pay attention to much of what gets people in trouble these days. Sean Brady. Izzy. Silver Aljamain. Alonzo Menafield, Chael Sonnen, Ty, Faris Ziam, and Chael Sonnen from the mean streets of Westland, Oregon. Looks like a light blue on the back here, which usually, no. Nope. Yep, I'm about to turn 40. Social media is, it's a crazy, crazy thing. Light blue, give us a rookie. No rookie, it is Rashad Evans again. Rashad Evans spot hitting twice. <laughs> Rashad Evans light blue. If I could get that in the top loader, that would help. 159 out of 199. Again, if you joined us late, we will do a full recap of all the numbered cards, autos, and anything else I top loaded that's in that stack. Yeah, we're going for the Evans rainbow here. Man, did I mangle that pack. That might be... No, that's a Sparks, I think. On the back is a Daniel Cormier. And I'll finally open this the right way. Andre the Pitbull Arlovsky. Look at that relic. Arlovsky relic. Turning 26 in December. You're just a baby. Uh, I turned 40 in December, Teflon Juan. I feel like 26 was just a couple weeks ago. It wasn't. Maroon on the back, auto in the four spot. Good luck. Maroon is... Give us a rookie. Come on. Maroon's not a rookie, but it is. Zhang Wai Lai. 38 going on 66. Arlovsky is a relic, you are correct. And this is just a base auto of Chael P. Nice hit for the Chael P spot. He's got a ton of autos in this. You know Chael. Probably got five bucks an auto. He was like, yeah, I'll sign 20,000 of them. I actually recently talked to somebody. They said that the agents of the, the fighters and players and everything, they negotiate what they get per auto. Why lie is 80 out of 125. Yeah, and Gary. 
Shale is the goat. He made trash talking what it is today. All right, this is going to get us the halfway point. BJ Penn and a man in fear out silver. I'm going to take about a one minute intermission, y'all. I'll be right back. Got to grab some more cases. And I forgot to grab thick top loaders, so I'm going to grab those and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back for the second half of the break. First half, I don't know, if you ask me, that first half was pretty dark unloaded. So let's see if we can't, uh, but we do have our Zebra already hit. We got our Silver Octagon side already hit. We got two Golds, two Tie-Dye Autos, two Red Autos, a couple of nice Blue Autos. So hopefully the second half follows suit. We need some true green. We need some one-of-one one action. I'd like to see some more Gold, too. I'd like to see a gold auto. Maybe two. <laughs> All right. Gold auto coming. Let's see a gold auto. Let's see a one of one. Tito started the trash talking game. Poor Shamrock right, couldn't handle yeah, the problem with Tito was once he started fighting, who did he fight? Chuck Liddell. I mean, those fights were that's, – that's who he was really trash-talking a lot was Chuck Liddell, and he just got massacred by Chuck twice. The one where Chuck threw like 700 punches in a row and Tito just crumbled at the end. I'll never forget watching that fight. Uh, JJ Crash, any Asker, Dajong, Honor, oh, Zabit. I uh, no Dajong, no Zabit. I think there might have been one Askar, but nothing crazy so far. We're halfway through. Halfway through, I'll do a recap of all the hits at the end. Um, I don't think any of those fighters have hit anything big so far. Someone else who's watching can let me, can probably confirm that. We do have an auto in here. Patty on the front. Holly Holm, Vulcan, and on the back is a light blue, which I'm going to show the right way eventually. Non-rookie, Jamal Hill. There we go. Sweet Dreams. That's a sweet nickname. Sweet Dreams. I like that. Rookie Auto. Speak of the devil, Chris Dawkus. Nice little Dawkus Auto. Dawkus, rookie auto. Not numbered. Chris Dawkus. Jamal, sweet dreams hill. 
I love that nickname. That actually might be my favorite one. Nobody really got into that question. In fact, no one answered that question, but Sweet Dreams is a slick nickname. All right, got an auto out of the way. Dawkus Rookie Auto. I will say a lot of the boxes with Rookie Autos seem to have two base autos. Hash, you did. You're right. I'm sorry for forgetting that you answered it. Carol Hossa. The Hash Slingy Slasher. How could I possibly forget that? Octagon side and a silver. Volkanovski, Rich Ace Franklin, Jose Aldo, and Connor McGregor Silver. Still doesn't qualify as a Connor hit. Touchy Feely. <laughs> Who's that? Andre Touchy Feely. Who's the Assassin Baby? I can't believe I don't know that one. Who's the Assassin Baby? Islam. Neil Magny, Dreykus, Romanov, and Matt Danger Schnell. Yeah, the second box was really good, and the fourth box with the dual autos was really good, and we've been pretty slow otherwise. We still got some hope, though. Here's a Mem Auto. Good luck on the Mem Auto. Jamal Hill on the back is a Mudahari Sioux. And this is a tie-dye mem auto. Tie-dye mem auto. Burnout wants it to be Brandon Moreno. He definitely does have a mem auto in this. Here we go. It is Jessica Andrade. Yep, Jessica Andrade. Tie-dye mem auto. So pretty nice hit for the Jessica Andrade spot. And that's 21 out of 25, Jessica Andrade. Looks like that says Discipline on there. That's a pretty cool hit. We'll throw that up there. Still waiting on some more gold. All right, so we've hit both autos out of this box. Let's see if we can't catch another tie-dye or a gold out of here. Brandon the Assassin Baby Moreno, that's right. He knocked out Kai Kara France with a leg kick or with a body kick in their last fight. Charles Oliveira Silver. <laughs> Big Mark Jesus. Oh man. Maroon on the back. Good luck on the maroon. Nganu. Steep A Maroon or I'm sorry. Bronze. Look at me saying maroon. It's not even close to a maroon. It's getting late at night. I get up early with the kids. My apologies. 40 out of 175 steep A. Definitely bronze. Definitely not maroon. Mackie Patolo. That is coconut pops. See, there's some good nicknames out there. Shavkat base on the front, Fiziv, Aspinall, Alvarez, and a Patty Silver. Nothing numbered of the big names so far. No Patties, no Shavkats, no Umars. We gotta fix that up in these last five and some change boxes. Relic in here. Gamzatov, GSP, Holly Holm, Silver on the back, and Paul Felder. Really good commentator. Actually a really fun fighter to watch. Wow, the Vanilla Gorilla. Who's that, Chase Sherman? Did I get that right? Big Mark, is that Chase Sherman? Oops, that was the wrong one. And Chase Sherman. All right, I got one right. Panny, Darren Till, Andrea Lee, Sean Brady, Phenomenon, and a Billy Q scope. Billy Q's a fun fighter. 
I think his spot used to go for like 50, 60 bucks in these breaks when they first came out. He hadn't fought in a while. Diego Nightmare Sanchez and Diego the Dream. Is that right? It looks like we got gold on the back here. Oh, tie-dye on the back. Tie-dye on the back. Good luck on the tie-dye. Movzar. John Jones. Good luck on this tie-dye. Good luck. Concourse. Is it a rookie? It is not a rookie. It is Dan Hangman Hooker. Tie-dye. This stuff actually sells pretty well. Whoever bought this spot, you probably got it at the min. 11 out of 25, Dan Hooker, tie-dye. All right, so that's four tie-dyes, two golds so far. I'll throw that over there. It's not the one we were looking for. Two tie-dyes in that box. I'm not super excited by either of them. Five boxes left, y'all. I hope so. I hope there's a one one here. Thank of Boston. Who you got in the break? Who you got in the break? I do think we'll see a green or a one of one in these last five. Definitely something gold. But there's the maroon. Jorge Masvidal. Maroon is Augusto Sakai. I haven't seen much Adrian Inez, to be honest. Maybe one base card. 75 out of 125 Sakai. I've definitely opened worse cases than this. I can tell you that for sure. You got a lot. Auto in the four spot. Hamzat. Jair on the back. Base auto. Should be a rookie. Rookie base auto is Billy Q. Congrats to the Billy Q spot. Billy Q, base auto. That's a nice hit. That's a nice hit on a relatively affordable spot, given the cost of these cases these days. Billy Q's a high motor fighter. Don't know if he's ever going to be a guy that challenges for a fighter or for a title, but pretty fun guy to watch. Umar, Kelvin, Payava, Blahovich, and BJ, the prodigy pen. We got one auto out of this box so far. Brandon Moreno, Casey O'Neill, Strickland, Strickland, and Brandon Moreno. That was interesting. <laughs> All right, here we go. Auto number two and a bronze on the back. Mooney's, Avila, Ryan Spann. It's a rookie. Who we got? Corey McKenna. It's not going to make anyone happy. And another base auto non-rookie is Chuck, the Iceman Liddell. Nice auto. The autos have actually been pretty good in this case. I mean, there's not been one horrible auto. There's also not been one monster auto. I guess the Aspinall tie-dye would be considered the monster auto, but it's a pretty good hit. I'll take that. It's a 30 or $40 card, the Chuck Liddell auto. All right, let's see some gold. Let's see a one-on-one. Let's see something wild. Give me another zebra, too. I've definitely opened cases with 
double zebras. So I'm not ruling out another zebra. Izzy, silver. Billy Q, Brandon Moreno, Stipe Silver. Let's see here. Nothing in here. Jan Gary, Fiziv, Sean Brady, Tricolor. Four zebras in one case, huh, Gilly? Most I've seen is two. But. With Panini, I don't doubt anything. Neon green on the back. BJ Penn numbers. Let's see which way we want to pull this. Here we go. Non-rookie of Brock Lesnar, neon green. <laughs> Master Splinter. Now you're talking my generation. 43 out of 49, Lesnar, Lime Green. Izzy, Bisping, Hamzat, Valentina, and a Jan Gary Silver. <laughs> Do they let you stream breaks in prison? suppose if you know the guards, right? Bilal, remember the name. Nate Diaz, Izzy, Zhang Wai Lai, and a relic of Michael Chandler. First Michael Chandler card, I think, of the entire break. First Chandler, relic. One pack left, box eight. Definitely need a one of one or something crazy to start coming out of the last four boxes. It's been a really good case, solid case, but nothing spectacular. We need something spectacular. Mark the Hammer Coleman, Valentina Silver. Grabbing extra sleeves, that's not helping anybody. All right, four boxes left. Two golds in the second box. No gold sense. It's time for some gold. <laughs> Do they serve pork chops in jail? Sounds like a nice meal, actually. There we go. Six and six. All right, y'all. Last four. Last third of the case. Feels like there's a relic in here. Either a relic or a relic auto. We'll see. Usually the relic autos are two per. That's just a relic. Tisha Torres, the tiny tornado. Relic of Frankie Edgar. The answer. He used to be a ton of fun to watch fight. It's another one that needs to hang it up if he already hasn't. <laughs> Jesus. Tisha Torres. I actually pulled the one one auto in a personal case of hers. So I know that one's not live. Give us some gold. No gold here. Big Nog Silver. Who's he fighting, Big Mark? Who's his last fight against? Dick Tracy movie. That's awesome. Light blue on the back. DC, Uriah Hall. It's a rookie. Give us a big one. It's Paul Craig. We had a Paul Craig earlier. It's two numbered cards for the Paul Craig spot. 
time to hit the patty spot, huh? Or the Shavkat spot, the Umar spot. Ready. Let's hit, let's hit something big here. It's common. Eblowev, Sterling. Pretty sure we've already hit that card like twice, the silver Sterling card. I've hit some crazy patties this year. Maybe we hit another one. Valentina, Izzy, Michael Chandler, Marlon Marais, Scope. <laughs> Chris Gutierrez. I wonder if he retires if he wins. That's the challenge. All right, we're still live on all our autos and pretty much anything. Michelle Watterson, the karate hottie. Spots taken. All right, come on. Tie dyes, gold. Let's see something. Johnny Bones, Macy, Shiasone. This chat, this is fun. Manon, Perez, Tyler Santos, Moreno, and Paul Craig again. I think we still do two autos, and we should still be doing some numbered cards here. We got one numbered card out of this box so far. Come on, gold auto. One of one auto. Give us something. Auto incoming. Billy Q, Cynthia Calvillo, Paul Craig again on the back. We have a maroon. Ketlin Vieira and a red auto. Red auto of, is that Magomed Ankalev? Yes, it is. I can tell right away. That's a good auto. That's a real good auto. A lot of people think he's going to be the next champ. I think Shavkat is going to smash Jeff Neal, personally. Brady and I were just talking about this. Ankalev is 55 out of 99. That's actually a really nice auto. Really nice auto. The autos out of this case have been great. Nothing crazy, but... Nothing crazy, but really, really solid autos. All right, should have one more auto. Let's see a gold. Vito, there you go. Uncle Love's a good hit. Bronze on the back. Thought it was gold at first. Sergey Spivak. Bronze is Zhang Wailai. Twenty-eight, twenty-six out of one seventy-five. Sorry about that. All right, one more auto coming. Give us something gold. Autos in here. It's another octagon action auto. On the back, Juliana Pena, tie-dye auto. Good luck. Another tie-dye. Jeez, oh, man, this is a crazy tie-dye case. Good luck on the tie-dye auto. Calvin Cater. That's not the one we wanted. <laughs> I see what you just did with the Folgers commercial there. It's another tie-dye auto. It's four tie-dye autos. Out of this case, Calvin Cater is 23 out of 25. Man, it's one, two, three, four, five, six tie dyes out of the case so far. Just no massive one. No massive one. Give us a gold in here, a one on one. Whitaker, Gary, Sterling, Izzy, and Triple C. All right, let me clear some base out of the way and we'll rip these last three. Something crazy got to be coming our way. Green, 101, gold autos, something. 
It's been a really crazy tie-dye case, though, so I wonder if that's going to be where the bulk of the hits are. It's going to be out of the tie-dyes. It's kind of how these go. These go in cycles. Let's get this all moved a little bit. Give me a little more room. There we go. Cane. Gold. There we go. All right. Haven't hit one incredible Cejudo Haas Ortiz. Last three. Good luck on the last three. Alexander Rockich. This is a lightweight. Rookie. Could be a good one. Or it could be Joel Alvarez. Lightweights are tough in the premier level rookies. 24 to 60. That would have been a nice patty. Alonzo Menafield, Chael Sonnen, Ty, Piotr Jan, and Kamara Usman. <laughs> That's my sister. Light blue on the back. Probably, nope, no, not an auto in here. Sue, Font, Izzy. Light blue is not a rookie. It is Darren Till. Yeah, when you see lightweight, you're definitely not hoping for Alvarez there. 128 out of 199. Darren Till. Michelle Waterson, Juliana Pena, Charles Oliveira, Daewoon Chung, and Vicente Luque. Still can't believe... Jeff Neal knocked Vicente Luque out. That dude has one of the best chins I've ever seen. That was a crazy fight. Will this be a relic or a relic auto? Carol Hosa, uh, Patty Pimblett, Amanda Hebas, Frankie Edgar. And this is just a base relic. Ryan Spann. Ryan Spann. He boss. Holly Holm, Henry Cejudo, Amanda Nunez, Rockich, Laron Murphy Silver. I should run for government. Rose Namahunas should be an auto in here, I would imagine. Rose, Nikita Krylov, Johnny Walker, and another Paul Craig hit. Tons of Paul Craig here. Yeah, the gold was two in one box and nothing else so far. Maybe we get another crazy box of golds towards the end here. Last one of these last two. Auto in here. Maybe there'll be a gold auto. Islam, Hoist Gracie. Aljamain Sterling. Our auto is another red auto. Of? Is that Uriah Hall? Yep. Uriah Hall. Pretty sure he's no longer in the UFC. 
guy with more physical talent. Yeah, it sure does. Uriah Hall. Five out of 99. Uriah Hall. Red Auto. Aljamain Sterling. Tons of Aljamain Sterling hits. Neil Magny, Dreykus, Chris Dawkins, Whitaker, Sarah McMahon. Pretty sure Uriah Hall's out of the UFC. Am I wrong about that? Pretty sure he got released. Anderson Silva, Shavkat, Dominic Cruz, and Kettle and Vieira. I'm actually shocked that we haven't hit an Angela Hill auto. Between this product and Chronicles, <laughs> we're tired. Between this product and Chronicles, I've hit more Angela Hill autos than are even describable. There's a maroon on the back and an auto in this pack. Good luck. Maroon. Is Uriah Hall. And the auto is a base auto. Non-rookie of Daniel Cormier. Like I said, the autos have been really solid in this case, but there just haven't been any crazy autos. Daniel Cormier, base auto. There's a Dustin Jacoby there. Twenty-eight out of one twenty-five. Your eye hall. Last pack, box ten. Dos Anjos, Gamzatov, Fiziev, Max Holloway, and Dominic Reyes. And that box was lame. All right, last two boxes better be better be heating up. Otherwise, it's been a pretty. Pretty boring case. Lots of really good hits, but nothing crazy. Not one monster hit out of the entire case. We need a one of one or a green. Gotta have a one of one or a green. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. I'll take another zebra, I suppose, but we'd need a big name. Gotta have a one on one here. Fiziev, Aspinall, Dos Anjos, Valentina, and a Romanov tricolor. Auto and a lime green. Good luck. Lime green. First is a non-rookie Habib. That's a nice hit. Nice Khabib. Khabib is 47 out of 49. And our auto is a rookie of Paul Craig. Paul Craig's spot is rolling tonight. Unfortunately, his fight career is not rolling after that last performance, but Paul Craig spot rolling. All right. Really nice Khabib hit here. Lime green out of 49. I've never seen more Paul Craig cards. It's crazy. <laughs> the bear. <laughs> nice Khabib. All right, one more out of this box. Let's see some gold. Let's see some one of ones. Let's see something green. Paul Craig is everywhere. Is correct. Shavkat Silver.
Evloev, Grant Dawson, Mackenzie Dern, Ilya Tapuria. Haven't seen much of his. There's Yanez, rookie silver. Ilya's got a big fight coming up, too. He's a tough kid. <laughs> I haven't eaten ramen in years, but that comment just made me want to. Jamal Hill. Hamza, Henry Cejudo. Auto number two. Paul Craig. Jesus, again. And the auto is a base auto of... Carla Esparza. Come on, top loader. Come on out of there. Sheesh. <laughs> they do pull. He does pull guard. That last, I, that last fight was really tough to watch. I actually really like him, but that fight, wow. Tough to, tough to root for after that. All right, come on. Zebra, one of one, something crazy. There's a white prism on the back. And it is going to be, give us a rookie. Not a rookie. Another Rashad Evans. It's the third Rashad Evans hit. Rashad is 41 out of 75. So many Rashad Evans, Paul Craig. Johnny Bones, Billy Q, Sean Strickland, and a Fazeev Silver. Yeah, if you were going to pick two people to have the case be based around, it wouldn't have been Rashad Evans and Paul Craig traditionally. Vivian, Shavkat, Vivian, again, a lot of repeaters in here. Should have a relic coming up. Jan Gary, Ryan Spann, Tom Aspinall, Silver, Cyril Gaon, it's a pretty good relic. Of the checklist, that's one of the better ones you're going to get. If I go jeez. Dos Anjos, silver. Cards fun. What's going on? Yeah, I haven't seen a gold since box two. I think the tie dies were the way this case was trending. Six tie dies, two golds. I think we just got burned out with too many tie dies. Light blue on the back to close out box eleven. Caitlin Chukagian. She's got a big fight tomorrow night. And an Anderson Silva light blue. Anderson Silva light blue. All righty. Last box out of 199. Good luck on the last box. If you have one of the big name fighters, I'm sorry they haven't hit yet. Hopefully somebody hits a big card out of this last box. A lot of the middle range fighters have done pretty well here, but the big names have not fared very well in this break. Unfortunately. Empty. Box 12 to 12 and then a recap coming. Alright. These ones, these ones didn't spread like the rest. That means there's something big in here. They didn't want to just fall apart equally. Let's see a one-on-one. 
One of one or at least a green, right? Worst case, just a gold, something. Sean Strickland's had nothing but a bunch of base cards. One silver, I think. Casey O'Neill, Sean Strickland, Brandon Moreno, Habib, and Ilya Tapurius Silver. Relic in here, unless it's an auto. I'm going to guess it's going to be an auto. Just have a weird feeling we're going to see a Relic auto in this box. Not this one. Alex Perez, Sterling, Silver Phil Hawes on the back. And a Kevin Holland. You got it, Big Mark. Yeah, I like to take my time and enjoy this myself. A lot of people fly as fast as they can through this and try to turn and burn them. I enjoy, I enjoy this product quite a bit. This keeps me from ripping thousands of dollars of it myself, so thank you for that. Tom Aspinall again. Scope. Tom Aspinall's had a really good break. Come on, one on one. We've got eight packs left to do it. Nothing in here. Nate Diaz, DC, Paul Craig, and Max Holloway. Probably an auto in here, I would guess. Nope. Usually the autos come with the tricolors, but not here. Shamil Abdurakimov. All right. Should have two autos over here. And hopefully something gold or that's bronze. Bronze on the back. Umar, Anthony, Lionheart, Smith, lightweight bronze, non-rookie, Charles, Charles Oliveira, little champ bronze at a 175, five packs left. Izzy, Stipe, Carol Rosa. Four packs left to go. Should still have two autos in here. One auto coming. Kelvin Gastelum, Brandon Moreno, Uriah Hall, Patty Tricolor on the back. Base auto of Vicente Luque. Vicente Luque base auto. Patty tricolor. We've had a patty tricolor and a patty silver, but that's about all in the patty spot. All the Patty 101s, the true 101s, are still alive, which is wild with this product. Three packs left to go. Should still have an auto and at least one more numbered card. Come on, 101. Gold. Gold on the back. We're going to save that. Gold is right there, just to give us something to look forward to. Maybe we get two golds in here. Got an auto and a blue here. We're gonna save that gold just cause we need to. Been a boring about four boxes in a row. Light blue on the back. Non-rookie. 
Mackenzie Dern. We're cooking the gold. Auto's a base. Auto's a base. Who's that? Tito? Tito Ortiz. I'm telling you, the autos in this case have been actually pretty good. Like, there's not been one terrible auto. I've opened cases of this with 10 terrible autos. Tito Ortiz, base auto. That's not a bad card. There you go, Alex. Somebody hit a card. There you go. Mackenzie Dern, light blue. We still got a gold. Judging by the last part of this case, it won't be what some of you are looking for. 129 out of 199. Maybe a one-on-one here. Maybe another gold. Give us something. We got a gold hanging out, just waiting. Nothing here. So the gold, the gold is going to be the last hit. Good luck on the gold. Yana Silver. All right. It's a premier level gold. Premier level gold. Okay. Good luck. Hit for somebody. Hit it for somebody. Uh, should be this way. Probably not going to be a rookie. It's not a rookie. I'm not sure whose hands those are. That is Tisha Torres, the tiny tornado. All right, Tisha Torres to close out the break. Two out of ten, Tisha Torres. Tisha Torres, three golds in the break. Whole bunch of tie dyes, whole bunch of red autos, blue autos, but not one really crazy massive card in the entire break, unfortunately, y'all. My sincerest of apologies. The case wasn't uh, wasn't too crazy, unfortunately. It felt like it was going to be crazy early on, and then it just never got there. There we go. Recap time. Gilly, have a good night. The two autos in one pack was cool. Unfortunately, the case just wasn't that awesome. I will random this off. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it, given that it was a player break, but give me a minute and I'll figure that out here in my mind. All right, recap time. Numbered cards and autos. Mackenzie Duran, light blue. Patty, tricolor. Oliveira, bronze. Anderson, Silva, light blue. Rashad Evans, White Prism, Khabib, light gr or Lime Green, Uriah Hall, Maroon, Darren Till, Light Blue, Joel Alvarez, Purple, Zhang, Bronze, Ketlin Vieira, Maroon, Paul Craig, Light Blue, Brock Lesnar, light, Lime Green, Corey McKenna, Bronze, Augusto Sakai, Maroon, Patty Pimblett, Silver, Stipe, Bronze, Jamal Hill, Light Blue, Man of Fear wrote, Silver, Zhang, Maroon, Rashad Evans, Light Blue, Matt Hughes, Orange, Kamara Usman, White Prism, Alexander Romanov, Bronze, Dustin Jacoby, Maroon, Rogerio Bontarin, White Prism, Julia Avila, Light Blue, Piotr Jan, Bronze, John Jones, Red, Marcin Tabura, Red, Paul Craig, White Prism, Umar, Tricolor, Juliana Pena, Light Blue, Paul Craig, Silver, Aljamain, Lime Green, Bilal Muhammad, light blue. Bia Malecki, bronze. Patty, tricolor. Henry Cejudo, light blue. Nina Nunez, bronze. And BJ Penn, maroon. Autos and bigger hits of the break. Tito Ortiz, auto. Vicente Luque, base auto. Carlos Esparza, base auto. Paul Craig, base rookie auto. Daniel Cormier, base auto. Uriah Hall, red auto. Calvin Cater, tie-dye auto. Dan Hangman Hooker, tie-dye. Magomed Ankalev, red auto. Chuck Liddell, auto. Billy Q, rookie auto. 
Chris Dawkus, rookie auto. Chael P. Sonnen, base auto. Jair Rosenstrike, red auto. Armin Sarukian, case hit, silver octagon side. That's a huge card. Giga Chikadze, base auto. Joe Lozon, red auto. Dominic Cruz, base auto. Neil Magny, base auto. Amanda Hebas, blue auto. Rashad Evans, blue auto. Kamara Usman, red auto. Sugar Sean O'Malley, red auto. Jessica Andrade, relic, tie-dye auto at a 25. Tom Aspinall, tie-dye, rookie auto at a 25. Marlon Chito Vera, tie-dye auto at a 25. Alexander Rakic, phenomenon, gold at a 10. Kane Velasquez, gold at a 10. Tisha Torres, gold at a 10. Sean Brady, light blue. Tom Aspinall, purple at a 60. And a Kennedy Njekwu, zebra. Again, thanks, y'all. Sorry, there wasn't a monster hit in this case. The case was pretty solid, actually, overall. Um, this is 900 points if nobody stole it. How are we going to do this? I'm going to reach down to the pile of base cards to my right and whichever. I'm going to pull a random base pile that was to my right, and I'm going to pull from the middle of the stack, and whichever fighter is showing after I pull the stack is going to get the Panini points. So here we go. It's going to go to the Shavkat Rachmanov spot. And that's how we're doing it. The 900 points goes to the Shavkat spot. Hopefully nobody stole it. Hopefully you guys are honest. Again, thanks y'all. Appreciate the payments. Appreciate the join and the break. Sorry there wasn't a monster million dollar hit in there, but I wish there was. I'm not sure when I'm going to do the other case. I had to pull the other one down because I'm going to the Guardians game Sunday night. Uh, probably towards the end of the next week. We'll see you guys real soon. Take care of yourselves. Night, y'all. Later.